Hey guys, it's Casey Ann, and today I wanted to show you guys and talk to you guys a little bit about like some of the products that I use on my face. I actually get asked quite a bit how I keep my skin looking really good. Um, does because my skin is really oily um, and I tend to break out a lot with certain products if they're too drying or they're too um, oily like and sticky and wet my skin will actually like break out and I normally break out around my nose all over my forehead on the sides of my cheeks here and on my chin and sometimes around my lips just like it just depends on like what I've used like which products I've used but recently I just broke out like right here and like some on my forehead about by my eyebrows and um, I have like a pimple like right here or something so I wanted to show you guys my bag of um, face masks that I use um, I have a couple a, a couple that I actually use all the time and I love to like the moon and back because they actually work um, I'm not sponsored by anything nobody likes me enough to sponsor me so this is all opinionated um, first and foremost I want to show you guys some of the uh, the oil that I actually put on my face it helps just kind of hydrate my skin and it's got vitamins in it. it's vitamin E oil so I use this um, natural e liquid antioxidant protection um, basically has just like vitamins in it and it's really good for like your skin it helps hide scars oh probably would help if I actually like showed you guys the actual packaging itself I get this at like life source um, the organic store I'm pretty sure you can get it really anywhere where there's like organic products because it's an organic buy um, and then for primers I have these two so this is just like a tester like a small tester size this is the professional um, by benefit primer I love this stuff I think any makeup person loves that primer and then I have this other um, primer this is the Rimmel London stay matte makeup primer base um, it actually works pretty well I don't know if it stays matte but it works pretty well on the skin um, also for makeup wise I have two other things um, this is my Mario bed desk um, skincare facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water this stuff actually I don't normally use this just as like a setting spray I normally use this to spray on my face um, just to get some like hydration in my skin because sometimes I do get dry patches around my nose and like some on my chin a little bit on my forehead so I just spray it to get some hydration back also for hydration purposes I love these makeup wipes this is the Neutrogena makeup remover cleansing towelettes um, they're the blue pack these are amazing these feel like they have just like a shit ton of lotion in them um i love these i these makeup wipes are amazing they never burn my eyes or my skin or anything like that so yeah um for my skin i use this mini bebe hand cream i got it from like the store it's in the shade scent sorry vanilla cotton it actually makes my hands smell really good and feel really good but a lot of the lotion i actually use it's this um this hemp's lotion um this is just the goji orange lemonade one but i use the hemp's lotion a lot because it makes my hands smell amazing and then another one i recommend is the um lemon sage body butter maximum moisturizer cream this is Oh, super good the it's really lemony <laughs> and I like lemon so um huge thank you to my mom for getting that for me because I love that one um speaking of fragrance for my perfume I use the hanky panky you de perfume um this one was amazing this stuff was given to me in a field trip i had for my school it was made from recycled products um so the packaging of the cardboard is actually recycled and this is the packaging itself it has a very beautiful little like rose on it so you can kind of see 
that and then the brand hanky tanky is on it and this stuff lasts a lot i got two bottles of it and i'm really happy because i love the scent it's not like overwhelming but it doesn't have like this grandma smell to it it's actually really like subtle and nice so moving on to skincare um things that you should probably wear like every day except for like this one this is the time wise by mary Kay day solution sunscreen or sun yeah sorry sunscreen this is um the bottle it's glass i think pretty sure it's glass yeah pretty sure it's glass um daytime solution i love this stuff it makes my skin feel really smooth and shiny and looks really healthy and clean i do love that and then i also use the mary Kay cc cream sunscreen um before i do like my makeup because it's like this creamy like foam thing but it's in my shade this is the shade very light because i'm like the whitest bitch out there so this is it okay so this is my bag that i have all of my face washes in um it's a cute little pineapple sock from primrose hill london um this was i think this was 15 dollars. so i got it on sale so the Cleanser that I just used on my skin is this BRTC Jasmine Waterfall Foaming Cleanser. I got this in a little like Ipsy Glam Bag review and I actually really like it. It makes my skin feel super, super smooth. Except it doesn't actually foam up like I thought it would. Um, it doesn't foam, it just kind of like is really sticky and feels really good on the skin. So the next little like squishy tube one is this Meaningful Beauty Cindy Crawford uh, facial mask. This stuff actually works really well. I do love it if you have sensitive skin or um, you have really oily skin. That stuff is really good. I love it. I mean, I love it. Um, another one that I use is this package. I have actually had, have had a couple of these. This is the... Um, botanical blend um moisturizing uh face soap you can get them at like hotels but honestly it actually works for my skin to be honest um this is my favorite of all of the facial masks that i have that i own that i collect this is the bio race pore tightening um pearl clay mask this stuff is incredible and i'm not just saying that because i like use it all the time or whatever this stuff is amazing so it actually doesn't even smell that bad but it kind of just smells like clay i mean it doesn't stink or anything but this stuff is freaking amazing it dries actually really quick so normally i just keep mine on for about 20 minutes um but it says 10 to 15 minutes around the 16 mark it's normally like almost all the way dry but i normally keep mine on for like 20 ish minutes maybe depending on like my mood or whatever and it works amazing my t pores are tight my face is clean and my skin feels amazing this is the clear proof by mary Kay um oil free moisturizer for acne prone skin i use this every time i'm done um cleansing my face i just rub a little bit of this moisturizer on to keep my face still smooth um, and it works perfectly fine. This is the Global Beauty Care Charcoal Wash Off Mask um, in this little like tube package. I actually really like charcoal masks. I don't know if they like fully work all that well, but I actually really like them. This isn't a facial mask. This is just a car charcoal meteor shower um, bath shower scrub. Nothing too fancy. So these are from like my first Ipsy bag. I've had it for about a year, I think. Um, this, these are the Pure Lease, um, the Coconut Rice Nourishing Sheet Mask, and Green Tea and Ginger Rejuvenating Sheet Masks. I love these. They smell incredible and they feel good on the skin. The next masks I have is this Aloe Ultra Hydrating. Um, essence mask. These are from like Fred Meyers or you can get them at Ulta. This was $2 from Fred Meyers so pretty affordable and really good for your skin because aloe way or aloe however you pronounce it is really good for you. This one my fiance got me. This is the nature recipe mask in the scent honey with honey ingredients in it. It's really really nice and it's really sticky and actually feels like honey is being put on your skin and I love it. I've had a couple of those. So these are also from recent um, 
Ipsy bags. These are the PM masks, or the Good Night PM masks, um, by the product brand Meg. Um, these are nourish and moisturize masks. They look really nice. So my fiance and I are going to try these out um, pretty soon, I would think. And then I have two package like um, face masks. I have this five minute facial mask with tea tree oil, rose hip extract, and vitamin C. Enhances radiances, minimizes pores, and even skin tone hashtag primer. So you put this on right before you do your makeup and you don't have to prime your face with actual like face primer um, because your face is already like primed and stuff. And then these are two big sacks of uh, four sets. So this is the step one and step two. Obviously there's like four of them because there's step one and step two for another pack. Um, these are the mild peeling finger pads and then the real gel masks. So this is for glowing skin, I guess. You could do that in the summertime or in the winter when your skin dries up. Gonna try this out when I don't have super oily skin. Anyways, that's all that's in here. I just wanted to show you guys a quick little um, snippet of like what I use to clean my face and make my face really clean. Um, and how I kind of stay away from pretty acne prone skin because I do have pretty acne prone skin. So those are the products I use. I definitely would encourage you guys to really look into this um, BioRace pore tightening um, pearl clay mask. I got this off of Ipsy, but I'm sure you can find it anywhere um, that sells face masks. If I can find out where I got this and how much this costs, I will comment down below and let you guys know how much this little thing costs. Um, and then if you want to get it yourself, you can actually order it off the Ipsy website just on the side. You don't have to actually like get it in a package. Excuse me, um, but most of the times you get them in these little bags or they're just kind of sitting in the package they came with. Um, but yeah, I, I really do love this stuff. This is my all-time favorite and then it would be the Cindy Crawford one because those work the absolute best. So that's what I use. I hope this was really helpful if you guys want to check them out or you want to know um, the products you know, more clearly, let me know and I can, you know, comment and everything like that. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a fantastic week and happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. You're incredible and the moms that take the place of dads. Happy Father's Day to you. Um, and yeah, have a blessed weekend. Bye guys.